Hello folks. Uh, today I'm doing something dumb. Like this is this is definitely going to be one of the dumbest things I've done. Uh, this is the Little Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. Um, it's been snowing a lot and we haven't been able to get outdoors as much as we would like, so I'm trapped indoors and bored out of my freaking mind. So enter the Little Nitro. Uh, on top of this little guy, this little devil, uh, I'll also be tackling the Death Nut Challenge, not in the same day. I considered the idea, but I, I like life. So. So I'm generally a big fan of spicy stuff, but uh, getting a little box that comes with a big, bold warning label is enough to get in your head a little bit. So, warning, this product is extremely spicy, has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation. Lil Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear, is intended for adults only and should only be, it should be kept out of reach of children and pets. Don't even think about a dog. Lil Nitro is not to be consumed by those with any heart or respiratory conditions. Consume at your own risk. This little guy is made by the Flame Floor Candy Company, so... I haven't seen very many of their other products, but this little guy makes me a little nervous. He makes me nervous. Uh, consumers beware, this is not your ordinary gummy bear. From Flame Floor Candy Company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Lil Nitro has been infused with our signature 9 million Scoville. Uh, unit chili extract making him 900 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. This box right here contains a single gummy bear and it's like a high high security prison for like a freaking war criminal. And he's so cute in there. You never suspect that but he... Oh, my hand is shaking. Now he's getting in my head. I mean, I'm letting him get in my head. This is what he wants. Christina's sitting off in the sidelines right now watching me prepare for my miserable experience. She's admiring the gummy bear at the moment. It, I don't know, it's weird because it's like a, it's like a tube and he has like a baton in his hand. I know, right? He's like he's getting ready to beach, you assault know. your tongue. Flammable. <laughs> yeah, let's hope it's not flammable. So there is a bit of a challenge associated with this gummy bear as well. Thank you. There is a bit of a challenge associated with this gummy bear as well. Uh, as soon as you get this gummy bear in your mouth, you're supposed to keep him there uh, for five minutes, or I assume you're supposed to eat the gummy bear and not go for any sort of uh, remedial actions in the five minute time frame. So I've got my phone ready, I'm gonna set a timer just to see how far I make it. I am not gonna hype this up, I'm not gonna go over the top with theatrics. <sighs> this is gonna be real suffering, so enjoy. There's a fuse. Oh yeah, a little nitro challenge. This little guy right here. Oh, it's even a YouTube little thing right here. We want you to make the best little nitro video on the internet. Post your video to YouTube with the hashtag little nitro challenge for a chance to be featured on our website and social media platforms. Right, this, I think this has been around for a little while, so I don't know if they're still doing this or not. Uh, fully chew this fiery bear and see if you can handle the heat. Can you go a full five minutes without relief? Okay, yep, so there is the challenge. So, this is the challenge right here. All right, come here, you little demon. No, oh, of course, I drop him. That's just gonna make him mad. All right, here he is, out of the box. Yep, that little box contains this tiny little guy right here. And overall consistency, he's a dense fur gummy and he's oily, which makes me all that much more nervous. Here we go. Very dense. Hmm? Start your timer. Oh, yeah. Forgot to start my timer. Oh dear, it's already starting. <clears throat> There's no flavor. It's pretty much just heat straight out of the gate. Oh goodness. <clears throat> It's such a dense little gummy. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's an intense amount of heat. <clears throat> kind of wish I would have started my timer exactly as I need to. <clears throat> so what I'm feeling right now, <clears throat> other than the, the immediate assault on my vocal cords and my tear ducts, <clears throat> I chewed on the left side of my mouth Right side, left, right, I'm brain functions right now. 
I chew on the right side of my mouth, and so far, the heat has radiated all the way down my right side of my face. I can feel it all the way down to my chest and my stomach now. I'm tearing up. <clears throat> I'm tearing up already. Whew. I'm at a minute. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> all right, back to composure. I have to avoid touching my face, as I'm sure that oil that was on the gummy bear it would royally mess me up if I touched any mucous membranes. Whew, my upper lip is sweating. Can't stop the tear ducts. There's nothing, nothing doing there. <clears throat> oh. Christina has handily offered me a wipey to wipe my fingers down. Oh my goodness, that fire. Whew. That is an intense little burn. Salivation is off the charts right now. Oh, and it hurts even more when you swallow. Oh, I have some remedial actions waiting in the wings right now, but I am committed to beating this five minute timer. Oh, we're just sitting at just over two minutes now. Oh, goodness. Oh, the nine million school bills, that's a, uh, that's enough. <clears throat> That's a pretty intense little burn right there. Oh, goodness. I have a rag handy. This I don't believe counts as a remedial action. Uh, if you're wearing makeup, don't during this challenge. Uh, if I had mascara on right now, whew, I should be screaming at the camera to leave Brittany alone. Uh, okay, so the fire is spread. It's currently sitting in my gut right now. If I burn the hole for the bottom of the chair, I hope the Corvius housing... Is it Corvius? I forget. They're gonna hold us responsible for that. We've got house insurance. Ooh. Okay, yeah, a little nitro. This is a straight up little demon bear. This bear immediately attacks any place that you might consider as a happy place, burns it to the ground, Cut you off of the past so you cannot make it there. You are trapped in his world right now. Am I leaking? Yeah. Oh, you're, thank you. Oh, I really want to swear right now. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, Lord, you're right. Oh, three minutes. Still on three minutes. Oh, my voice is cracking. We are almost at four minutes. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Here. Fire's still there. I'm just trying to compose myself a little bit. Oh, goodness. Minute left. Uh, if you've been in the military, this is still not nearly as bad as the gas chamber. The gas chamber felt like they fired a bottle rocket on my nose. It just feels like a nasty, slow burn in the back of the throat. Whew. All right. We're in there. All right. I really want to rub my eyes right now, but I know that would be very, very bad. Oh, holy smokes. Uh, the bad part is, this one's 9 million Scoville. The death nut, uh, 13 million Scoville. Uh, 13 million. I know I read this before, but... Oh. 15 seconds. Is it really? Yeah, this challenge ain't enough. What are you talking about? <clears throat> Holy smokes. I wonder if there's a challenge involved with the death nut, too. Five minutes. You want to keep going? <sighs> oh, don't burp. Oh, if you find yourself having to eat the burp, don't do it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Once you start burping, you can't really stop. Now the battle is just trying to keep it down. Okay, so I'm past five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some uh, remedial actions. What is that, milk? Ice cubes. Oh, I got crackers too. Let it absorb the uh, I'll take a cracker. I'll take a cracker. I'll take a cracker. Uh, okay. Do you want the lemon juice? Also, I'll drink the lemon juice in a bit. Apparently, lemon juice is an 
I suppose an excellent way to neutralize the heat of the cap capsicum. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> that's, that's not so bad. <laughs> not so bad. I'm still much. Oh. It's not the ple most pleasant thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing. <sighs> Ooh. I really want to, but uh, I start breathing heavy for some reason, and it just, you don't need to start breathing heavy, but I feel like you need to, but, oh, cracker. I feel like you need to, it's like, a, <clears throat> I just keep looking at this stupid death nut package, knowing this is, I gotta do this next. I don't want to. <clears throat> Maybe next week. <sighs> oh, goodness. <clears throat> Okay, so the cracker, the crackers really help. I, I keep chewing the left side of my face because I'm, I'm scared to get anything on the right side, but that's where I need to neutralize it. Okay, <clears throat> breathing in reignites the flame, so. Okay, yeah, chewing a cracker on the right side, definitely sucky, but I feel like it's, nope, getting worse. Okay, a little bit of milk, don't hit me. Ooh, okay, so the milk is immediate relief. So definitely go for the milk. And it's back. The heat is back. It, so it's immediate relief, but it's doesn't last very long. How are you doing? I'm not on fire. Hmm. I felt like I got a little theatrical there for a second. It's not my intention. I thought I was going to try and muscle my way through it. Well, you're now over eight minutes. I forgot my damn timer's running. Hmm. So you've been three minutes, well, two and a half minutes of remedial. Oh, that's interesting. After a while, it feels like, after, you know, you go, you go to a dentist and you've got some work done, they stick you with the needle. There's some numbness going on in the right side of my mouth right now. It's one of the gums and the, unfortunately one of the tongues, so I'm starting to slur a little bit. The 10 minutes and 30 second mark, the fire has dampened significantly. The burping remains and the burp is very unpleasant. It pretty much right next to fire at about like 50% uh, heat. Oh. <sighs> unpleasant, but like, if you're doing something like this, have the milk on standby, because this stuff is amazing. It's probably the best glass of milk I've ever had. A lot of sinus drainage. Uh, the saliva like, forms like a gel of an area where you're chewing in, so it just kind of sits and continues to burn every time open air gets onto it. Like, you expose the, uh, the affected area to air, the fire kicks back up. So you gotta put it out. Well, that wasn't as terrible as I anticipated being, considering a lot of the folks either spit the gummy bear out in less than a minute sometimes, or they were immediately going after the remedial actions. It's not as hot as everyone makes it out to be, so. If you like spicy stuff and you're up to challenges like this, then I, I say go for it. I think that this one was overhyped, but still a fun little activity. I'm saying this now that the fire is gone, but I probably, I probably look like an absolute idiot, so. So next up, not tonight, obviously. Don't even, don't even think about it. They got the Death Nut Challenge, and this is the version 2.0. We will go more into this on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you stick around for our future adventures when we're not quite so bored and doing things that are actually entertaining in the outdoors with our family. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye. We did have one casualty tonight. Christina and her frozen tub wear. Yeah. But I'm such a sweet wife. Look. She is. She's being so supportive. We cut ice cream. Yeah, she took a Ben and Jerry's pint and she sliced it. Isn't that smart or what? It's like. <laughs> It's lazy. I don't like the spoon because your spoon bends. Uh, yeah, well, ice cream scoop paper bends or uh, I don't know. It just it just seems a lot easier to slice the pint open and yeah, cut it into like little serving size chunks. And add it on brown. Yeah. So for now it's a. Uh... Yeah, they've been they've been in the freezer for a while. <laughs> About a half hour. Okay. Yeah. So she was the only couch tonight. Uh, frozen Tupperware is not fun to open. But it was fun to watch my husband go through the tears and interesting phases of the gummy bear. You get the death nut. 
Do you want me to die early? Like this is this is the same woman that thinks paprika is spicy. Paprika is spicy. Black pepper is spicy. Mild salsa is spicy. <laughs> we go to an authentic Mexican restaurant. This girl ends up crying because she just puts a little dab on her chip. A dab will do. Just one more tidbit of information. This is my homemade mead. This is a tart cherry uh, based on a Viking's blood recipe that I found on YouTube. And this mead turned out a little sweet, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's, it's really good. And the amount of sugar content in it is actually helping stop the burn. So if you've got a sweeter wine or a mead, it helps fight the burn. Drink to that.